Hello! Guess what, guys? I'm finally working on some pencils. The the actual comic pages for Nine Point issue number two are finally starting. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought I'd be like, I expected this to be very grand, but it feels like just moving forward, which I guess is fine. I'm really excited though. I'm happy. I'm happy this is finally beginning. I'm finally working on some heckin' actual stuff <laughs> instead of thumbnails forever. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird drawing marble. That is this, this, the cat boy who stars in this comic. It's weird drawing marble in actuality in the comic, because in the first issue he was just a little baby. Now he's like a full person. <laughs> I guess cat. But yeah, and he's doing stuff, and I get to draw him now, and it's gonna be weird when I get to draw the other characters as well on pages instead of just in character designs and thumbnails, and they're gonna be real, and it's weird. <laughs> I think it's just been so long of working, doing all the prep work, and the thumbnails, and the color thumbnails, and the character designs, and the setting designs that I'm like, it's never gonna happen. Now it is, and it's weird and cool. I think think. I don't know. I had to switch some gears in my head because um, I forgot that I do nine point in Photoshop. Um, and the reason I do that is because there's some weird color printing thingies that I don't like with Clip Studio where it exports like a CMYK kind of weird, whereas Photoshop, I just understand it more. So yeah, I'm doing all my penciling and colors in Photoshop. And so I had to remember how to use the tool because I've been using uh, Clip Studio for so long. Well, don't get me wrong, they're both really great programs for different things and I love Clip Studio. And if I could use it for um, coloring printing comics and get the result I wanted, I totally would. But I find Photoshop gives an effect that I like a lot better. So that's all. They're both good. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I feel like every time I talk about the Photoshop versus Clip Studio, someone's always like, but you said, you said Clip Studio is bad. And I'm like, no, it was just bad for this one instance of a thing I needed. Otherwise, it's great. And also Photoshop's not bad. It's just not my preferred tool. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think, yeah, so I had to set up all my pages and rem remember how to use Photoshop. <laughs> and start making pages. And I'm always nervous when I start to set up like page layouts, uh, as in like setting up the actual canvas for making a final page. Cause I'm always convinced I'm gonna do it wrong. And I think it's cause like early on in my comic career, I did not ever know how to set up pages. Like I'd always set them up and be like, there we go. And then Bones would go to print it. He'd be like, the size is wrong. Everything is weird. What did you do? And I'm like, I don't know. I thought I followed the guidelines. So I'm just convinced I'm always going to do it wrong. So I'm always like super careful and paranoid before I start. So I didn't film it, but you missed like 20 minutes of me trying to set up a page properly. And then making duplicates of that page. So that I wouldn't like get messed up when I tried to make another page. So yeah, but here I am and I've I've penciled the first page of Nine Point Issue 2. <laughs> I don't know how to title these. I was also looking at my file setup, like my folder setup, sorry, uh, within my, my Nine Point uh, folder on my computer. And I had two folders set up. One was for the prologue, which is the last issue, issue number one. And then I had one for uh, volume one of, of Nine Point was another folder, and I was like, uh, this doesn't really work. <laughs> okay, so, like, initially, Bones and I thought we were gonna, we were gonna put out the prologue as, like, a teaser, and then we were gonna just put out, like, a volume that's, like, a few hundred pages long, uh, as the next thing, and it was gonna take a few years and whatever. We were like, no, we should actually put out more small issues and then eventually compile them into a big issue. So, yeah, I guess... Issue number two is chapter one of volume one, whereas, like, the issue number one was the prologue. Ugh. It, it, I, yeah, so I had to sit down and hurt my brain and be like, oh, what do I call this so that I structure this out properly? Um, I also wasn't sure how to number the page titles. Like, these are such small things, but it's like, you have to think about it when you're setting up your, your organization of everything. So, 
usually with web comics, like with our comic uh, The Magpie and with our comic Pretty Mouth, both of them don't have chapters. We basically just work until we have enough to compile into a volume and then we do that. And they're kind of cataloged by scene. But when I name things, I just name it like page one to page whatever and it just goes up and up. But I was like, so if we're breaking nine point into chapters, should I still number, like, is page number one of issue number two, is it called page 21 or is it page one? So I went with page 21 just in case we ever do want to do a web comic version of it. We're still on the fence about that. Right now, I don't think we're going to release a web comic version of it, like, as in post it online for people to read for free for a little while, um, but our, our opinion might change in the future. Right now, we're going to try selling them as issues uh, and see how that goes. And so far, it's been going pretty good. I think the nice thing about having them in issues is that you can, I guess, curate how people receive them a bit easier. Because, like, when webcomic form, people can just kind of jump in anywhere. Whereas, like, if it's an issue, it's like they buy the issue and then they can read the whole thing at once and get, like, a curated experience. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just, it's different and I'm curious about how it'll, how it'll pan out. So, yeah. Pencils. Um, I'm happy with how page one has turned out so far. Uh, it took a little bit to warm up and figure out how to draw marble. I probably should have had my reference open beside me, but I did not. I was I was feeling risky. <laughs> I, was, I was feeling dangerous. Um, so yeah, I didn't have my reference open. Um, but I've drawn him for like a lot of promo material. You know what? I shouldn't do that because every time I'm like, I know how to draw my characters. I make a mistake. So next time I'll have my reference sheet open. But yeah, I like how this turned out. I was looking at my my thumbnails and I was like, these compositions, they work. Good job, Pastor So you did it. <laughs> so it makes things a lot easier when it's like, okay, I can I can see how this will work once I have it in full color. So that'll be good. And I, yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. It was nice to do the 24-hour stream uh, last weekend. Um, cause it kind of got me back into the headspace of doing, like, a lineless style, which is cool. Which is getting easier the more I do. Like, um, like, I'm starting to get a better sense of, like, how the contrast will work and, like, you know, what did the background colors need to be so that the foreground colors stand out. Um, I mean, the 24-hour comic was very simple. It, like, had three colors to it, whereas Nine Point's gonna have a lot more. Um... But the color thumbnails that I've done have really helped, and yeah, I'm, I'm in that headspace. I remember how to do it, <laughs> and I'm excited, and uh, I still have a lot of pages to pencil before I get there. Um, kind of slow going, because it took me 30 minutes to pencil this one, but I'm sure I'll get faster as I go. I find, like, the first few pages of any, like, new start always take a little while, just because, like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, I'm gonna do everything, make it really detailed and beautiful, and then... When I'm halfway through, I'm like, eh, screw it, let's go. <laughs> zoom, zoom. So yeah, probably will take a while, but things are feeling really good. I'm really excited and optimistic. And, um, but yeah, things will take a while. That's okay. Hopefully they'll speed up with time, and I'll zoom through these really quick, and one day we'll have a comic in our hands once again. So I still have a little bit of work I need to do on the thumbnails. Um, I still haven't made any corrections to the one scene that didn't have a background. I've made the background, Bones has approved it, now I just need to go back and recolor the thumbnails with Ice's bedroom in them. <sighs> and yeah, so that'll be good. That'll be cool. So <laughs> that'll be Gucci once I do it. Um, yeah, things just got crazy with the 24-hour stream. I like had to recover from that and um, just keeping up with the videos and stuff. It's been a little crazy week. Uh, just, yeah, just the, I think the, the stream really threw things off. Uh, Bones and I have been feeling kind of weird, but I'm still making progress on things, so that's cool. Right, there's gonna be some changes coming up, uh, we've, we've decided. Um, I think I've been burning out a little bit on the work schedule I've been on, where I've been, so basically, like, my YouTube work schedule it's usually, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm, like, scrambling to get footage done. And, um, because I do footage for my video on Thursdays and Bones' video on Fridays. So I've been scrambling to get that done on top of, like, you know, other background projects that I don't film. Um, 
And then, and I work a full-time job, so I have to do it all after work. And then I usually put off the vlog until like the last minute. Like, in fact, I did this one today, Sunday morning, uh, instead of prepping it early. And then Bones and I have started doing a Wednesday stream, uh, Wednesday nights, uh, for, uh, or over on Twitch. Um, and we also have like a game stream on Twitch on Friday nights. And we have, um, right, so we have a game stream and that takes up time and then a Saturday stream, and then suddenly it's Sunday and I don't have my vlog stuff done. So yeah, I've been kind of running on fumes for a little while, just scrambling to get things done, and I think it's been stressing me out a lot, because um, I want to bring good quality stuff and I want time to relax as well. Uh, so I'm trying to reorder things so that I can have some weekends to rest. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can start doing my audio and my footage Tuesday and Wednesday and probably Thursday and then start having Sundays and Mondays where I don't do any work. But we'll see. So I might next week on the next vlog, <laughs> I might not have much to talk about because it'll probably be within a couple days of this. So hopefully it'll be interesting. We'll see. Yeah, just, I don't know. I gotta reorder things so that I don't burn out and don't, for goodness sake, so that I don't burn out and I don't, yeah, I need to relax and take a break so that I don't burn out and I don't start making bad quality art and so that I'm, I'm happy and live a nice, long, stress-free life. <laughs> um, so, sorry, the dryer behind me is probably going to buzz again and my nerves can't handle this. Um, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave story time stuff, talking about my week for another time. Um, so yeah, schedule changes that probably won't affect you guys. It'll just be on my end. Need to rearrange things and my work schedule so that I can start getting ahead on work and yeah, not be stressed out. And yeah, I don't know. I find when I'm stressed out, I do lower quality output. So yeah. Anyway, so you guys probably will not see a change because there won't be much of a schedule change for our videos or anything. Things will be changing behind... For goodness, fricks! Oh my god. Guys, I almost did a hard frick. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Go check us out on Patreon or the Discord and coming up in... Uh, <laughs> coming up in mid-April, on April 15th, Bones will be doing a Kickstarter about, um, for, for a book he wrote about a sweet trans man who has lost his heart and needs to go get it in order to save his mermaid girlfriend. So, yeah, go check that out on April 15th. See you then. Goodbye!